This video will show you how you can get back into a Moodle topic summary if the editing icon doesn't work, as sometimes happens if you mistakenly put some code in that breaks the topic summary. If it's not a summary but a label that's got broken, there's another video on the Using Moodle YouTube channel that will help you to repair that. First then we need to go to the course and turn the editing on. If I go to topic 0 at the top, however hard I click that editing icon, you can see it just isn't letting me in. On the other hand, if I click on one of the others, I can get into there immediately because there's nothing that's gone wrong inside of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on one of the ones that works, let's choose topic 2 for example, and then we're going to look to the very top and look at the number that's in the address bar at the top. That number represents the number of the topic summary that I'm in at the moment, 250. If I change it, it should take me to a different topic summary. So we're going to try different numbers until we get to the one that we need to fix. If you're lucky and you only recently broke your particular summary, then you might find that in your saved URLs in your address bar, you might have the one that's already there. If we try 251, for example, Unfortunately, that one took us to topic 3, so we need to keep trying different numbers until we can get to the one that we want. Don't panic if you accidentally end up in another course, by the way. It doesn't matter. Just keep trying with the numbers until you find the one that's broken. Here's the one, 248, and it takes us straight into there even though we couldn't click onto the editing icon. Now, to be totally safe, we should delete everything from this topic summary and start again. Click on the icon that I'm showing you here. That takes you directly to the code view. It's best to delete from here, that way you can be more sure not to have any code that might have corrupted your topic summary still in there. If we then scroll down and save the changes, we're taken back to our course. We don't have anything in that topic summary, but we can immediately click straight onto the editing icon and go back into it and edit as we could before. Everything is fixed. 